Hello YouTube, welcome to my garage. This is going to be part three of the Lotus Elise projects for the uh, 2023 winter. So, um, I was doing some oil change and just maintenance and, you know, noticed some leaking coming out of here. So I think I need to get a new oil pan gasket. You can kind of see this is leaking out a bit. I already cleaned this up and it's still kind of leaking out. So these don't use any gasket. You use this uh, silicone or RTV. So I was looking to drop this and was on monkey wrench racing. They do have a new oil pan and this one is the, it is a baffled one. So the stock one is non-baffled and there are aftermarket ones, uh, I think Moroso and BOE and Isokinetic make them. Those are, I believe, bigger capacity and there's been discussion about those basically have a cooling effect. So I decided not to do that and was kind of reading these probably will help for for what I'm going to use this car for, maybe some autocrossing. And it is similar to another uh, website's one. I believe it's EliseParts.com. They say they use these in their racing car. So I'm going to see how this, this goes. It can't be worse than the factory one. So uh, along with this, I also bought the RTV that they use. They sell on the site too. So I'm going to install that. I have not done a uh, RTV type gasket on these before. Usually the oil pans I do have the, you know, a gasket. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out all the bolts to the uh, the factory oil pan. And I've I've heard sometimes these stick and are hard to kind of pry off. I did I don't have a gasket separator tool, but I'm hoping I'm going to get lucky and this is going to come off easy. But let me struggle with that and I'll get back to this. All right, here's where we're at. <clears throat> Got 16 fasteners. Uh, most of these are bolts, but some of them are studded into the block, so they come out with a nut. That's probably going to be good for when you put it back. You don't have to align it as easy. So I can show you guys where I'm seeing, seeing some wetness here. So basically, kind of when you wipe it, you know, you always have a little bit leaking out here. So that's what I'm hoping to fix with uh, changing this. So I'm going to try to wrangle this off. If not, I'm going to pry this a little bit, be very careful with making sure I don't mar up the block surface and have issues with sealing in the future. So right now it's not coming off by hand, but that's to be expected. I think there's these kind of, you know. All right, success. That was quite tough to get off. So. Here's the uh, factory one. There's no baffling in there. Quite a bit of oil left in there actually, I'm surprised. So, and I don't know if this factory, but man, they kind of got a lot in there. So I'm, I'm kind of worried about this, but looks like, uh, looks like you can have a little bit in there and it'd be fine. So <clears throat> I had to kind of work the gasket loose prying on this side i'm gonna have to this this looks bad but it, it's pretty straight so i'm gonna clean that up so you guys can see the the dipstick so next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna basically clean all the old surface and prep it for the new one going on so i'm gonna go around with the razor blade and just something to work this off is going to take me a while i know you got to get this completely off and clean so i'm going to work on that next all right so got this been working on getting this pretty clean uh i'm not going to apply it tonight it's a little late so i'm gonna i'm gonna do the application on another day all right so let's uh Let's get the new one in. So here's the new one. I'm gonna show the old one. So the old one. Uh, 
and I did end up uh, kind of when I was prying the old one off kind of damaging the lip so a uh, new one was good to have went ahead and cleaned up on the the car and just gonna do a quick wipe I got acetone here just to get all the grease off so <clears throat> reading the instruction it says clean dry all surface cut nozzle a sixteenth or a quarter inch bead um, and then surround all bolt holes assemble part immediately so uh, dries in one hour fully cures in 24 hours so some of these have uh, different requirements like you have to um, you know hand tight and wait a couple of hours and come back and torque them this says just uh, reassemble immediately so gonna puncture this and we're gonna cut it at the basically the second one this is about a quarter inch all right so I haven't, haven't done this before I'm gonna try to not overdo it and I'm gonna try to keep it a quarter inch and keep it in the center uh, I think when you go they said surround all the bolt holes so I'm gonna do that so gonna try to not get too much because uh, if you get too much you might um, when you tighten it some might come in the middle there All right, gonna gonna clean this surface one last time. So there's studs here, uh, four studs, and I gotta get around this all pickup and stuff. All right, got a torque wrench set to 80 inch pounds. So I'm gonna kind of go around, make sure. Let's look at my work here. So uh, everything kind of came out a little bit. I think that's perfect. So 
I'm gonna wait 24 hours till I fill it back up. And you can see over here, just kind of splitting out. I think that's the worst one right there. But it's not bad. So, all right. So, zoom in. Gonna be done with this one. And when I fill it up, I hope it doesn't leak. If it does leak, I'll just take it down and redo it again.